Hey everyone, in today's video, we'll be looking at protected routes. And for the record, I'll be using Firebase Auth. You can, re realistically, you could use any authentication provider like Supabase, Pocketbase. But it should all just work the same because the code is just agnostic to the platform that you're using. And I will be using the app router. Well, technically, I'm using Next 14, but it doesn't really matter because Next 14 is really new, but there's no new API changes. So you do everything the same way as with Next 13. And um, so doing a quick rundown of what the problem looks like. So right now I have my page here. I have two routes, secret one, secret two. If I click on secret one, you see it brings us to slash protected slash secret one. And the problem is right now we're not logged in. So if I log in like that, and now I'm logged in, um, you can you can see that I have access to secret one and secret two pages. But if I log out, I'd still be able to see these pages. And that's not good because I want all of my pages, my routes after slash protected to not be visible until the user is logged in. And so to do that, I have written a custom use user hook that looks like this. So the main, the core component, the core part of this hook is this on auth state changed event listener. I'm calling this, I'm subscribing to this event listener and I'm returning the handle to use effect hook so that this only ever runs once whenever this hook is uh, mounted. I don't want to be subscribing to multiple event listeners uh, in one run. So that's why it's in use effect. And this is coming from Firebase. So if I go up to my imports here, you can see on auth state changes imported from Firebase slash auth. And I'm providing the auth handler to this hook here. And then there's a callback function that runs every time our authentication state changes. So every time we make a change, like if we log in or if we log out, then this callback function would run and we would set our user's state variable to be the value of that user passed into this callback function. Really, really simple. Uh, so, and in our layout function, compo layout component here in our protected, protected route, we have subscribed to this hook in our component and we have access to this user object and if we're logged out it just the user object is just null and if we're logged in then we'd have a user object so to do that to, uh, to make use of that i have an if statement here that says instead of just blindly returning the children which is the nested routes every single time we only return um, the nested routes whenever the user is not null because if the user is null then we want to return an auth guard component that component looks like this. It's just uh, a div that says you have found a secret place. Please log in to continue. And the login is a link to the login route, which is a constant defined in this routes document. And then I am using the use path name hook from next slash navigation. This gives gives us the current path name, so that tells us what uh what the path name we we're currently at. So now I've implemented that. If I go to secret two, you can say you can see it says you're trying to access slash protected slash secret two, and it tells us to log in. We go click on login, and then we log in, and now we can actually access the secret two page. Okay, so now if I click on log out, it hides that page, and the page is hidden by the auth guard component telling us to log in before we can continue. That's really good, and that works, and that's perfect. Now, f say for example, I was I'm I, I, I'm not logged into that website, but someone, a friend, sent me a location on Discord, for example, or in an email telling me to go to the secret two route, and I'm not logged in. So I click on the link to follow the link in my browser. I get to this page, tell me to log in, and so I do. I log into my credentials, and whoops, we're on secret one now. We ended up on secret one when I was initially trying to access the secret two page. So that's a problem. And I'm going to solve that problem by going over to my auth guard component here. Seeing that we already have access to the path name inside of this component, instead of just plainly returning, the, uh, plainly linking the user to the login route using our link component here in Next.js, I'm going to use a format string. I'm going to append a search string or a URL parameter here. We can name it any arbitrary name. For, for this case, I'm just going to say continue to equals to the path name. So what this does is if I come, I came back here, click on logout, we go secret two, or let's just go with secret one for, for now, for this one time. We right click on login, copy link address. 
And now when I paste this address, you can see that it's actually going to redirect us to the login page, but not, but we don't stop there. We have an additional parameter there in the URL that tells us to continue to the secret one route after we're done with the login process. Same goes for secret two, click on copy link address. It tells us to continue to, instead of continuing to secret one this time, we're continuing to secret two. And I can click on login now. Still doesn't do anything because we have to, we're, right now we're only sending out the information from the auth guard component. We have to also receive that information from our login page here. Now, I know that there's a lot of new code here that you haven't seen prior to this point, but don't get intimidated just yet because most of the code is just basic HTML. This is an HTML form for the username and password. And I'm subscribing to this use router hook, which is imported from next slash navigation. Remember, if you're getting weird errors when you're using use router hook, make sure you're importing that from next slash navigation and not from next slash router, because that's what it used to be uh, from before next 13. And that's what GitHub Copilot was trained to do, because majority of the training data that GitHub Copilot uses is from before next 13. So I had problems where GitHub Copilot was trying to automatically import this from next slash router. It was just giving me a bunch of errors and that's probably why you're getting your errors too, if you are indeed getting them. So down here, I have a constant, which is continue to, it points to secret one route and that's coming from my constant defined this file here, slash protect slash secret one. That's the default route that I set my router to redirect to after the sign-in is successful. So this is my sign-in function call. And after that's successfully ran, I will just redirect the user to this continue to link. Instead of just hard coding this to be secret one route, we can use the use search params hook from next slash navigation. I just say use uh, search params. I don't know why GitHub Copilot is trying to do this because you don't need this array. You just need to set it to a variable here like that. Uh, yeah, GitHub Copilot is still kind of wonky in terms of next 13 and onwards because it's still this is still a relatively new API, I guess. And then here, instead of just setting this to secret one route, we say um, search params dot get, and that should be continue to. I don't know why I went back to my browser there to check because I already know it's called continue to. That's what we defined here in our auth guard. So that's the name of our search parameter. And uh, I'll just, yeah, I'll just um, leave that there. You can see that the continue to uh, label should change to depend on the URL parameter. So I'm gonna log out here. Let's go and try to access protected slash secret to. I click on login. It gives the continue to parameter. And you can already see that that's updated to be secret two instead of just being hard coded to secret one, which is the default, which used to be the default route, which is defined by this constant up here. And now when I click on login, it sends us to secret two. So we're done. If I click on log out now, and instead of having trying to log in from the auth guard component, I'll just click on the vanilla login link, which doesn't have any, which just means we're just trying to log in and we're not trying to access any page prior to this. Click on login and it just sends us to secret one, which is a default route. That's good. One last thing before I end the video though. See if I click on secret one and secret two from the nav bar, the, the transition is seamless. That's because we're using the Next.js layout components and we're using the next link. It's like kind of emulating a single page component. However, say I were to refresh the page, I, I were to force a hard refresh, you can see, did you catch that? For half a second there, the auth guard component flashed. And um, if I were to say open a new page, you can see that half a second had the, the auth guard component is telling us to log in before we can continue despite us already being logged in. Now that's caused by this on auth state change here. In our use user hook, the way it works is we first set our user state variable to a default value. And, far, and then after that, we have a use effect hook that goes out and does the server call. And it takes some time for the server call to reach out to the Firebase authentication servers and fetch the current state of the user. That's what causes that delay. Now, in order to fix this, instead of just setting my user to null, I have a third state uh, value here, false. So that's what I gave into the default. 
because if our user is logged out, this user object returns null that tells us we are currently logged out. If the user isn't null, if it's a Firebase user, then that tells us we're logged in. This third state variable here tells us that it's not null, it's also not Firebase user type, it's just false. That means we haven't initi initialized our user yet. We are still loading our authentication state. So that's a third state that we're keeping track of. In our layout component, instead of just in saying, oh, if user is not defined, if it's null, then we return all, uh, the auth guard component. But instead of just doing that, we add a third if statement here saying if the user is equal to false, which is the first initial state before the user is initialized, before Firebase has had the chance to reach out to Firebase servers and fetch the, uh, the auth state, we first return a small component here that says auth loading. Now it still, it still doesn't uh, avoid the fact that there's still a jarring flash of auth loading, but at least now we're not misleading the user and telling them that they have to log in before they can continue when they're already logged in. We just instead tell them a less confusing message telling them that there's uh, the auth is still loading or we could implement a spinner instead of just flashing them with this auth guard component, which is very inappropriate. So let's go and test that and see how that works. Come back here, force a hard refresh. Instead of giving us that login prompt, which is very aggravating, we have a, we have a slightly less confusing message that says auth is loading or you could also just implement a spinner and with that my friends we are done and we have completely in implemented protected routes in next.js i'll see you in the next one